Welcome to Morning Mr. Man Monday. My name is Jeremy. And I'm Jake. And we're reviewing Morning Mr. May's next single, Furisato. Quick overview of the music video and the single. The song is about how a young girl in the story was living in Tokyo and she fell in love with a boy but it was an unrequited love. And so she wanted to go back home and visit her mother so that her mother can console her as well as scold her and kind of give her some advice. So in the music video, it's the girls getting on buses, on trains, walking home, being at home with their mothers and having dialogue with them. Except for the one girl I have to say, all the girls are going back home to visit their mothers, except one girl. I looked at it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so sad. I hope that the video doesn't end that way. And Jacob goes, what are you talking about? And I said, look at that. She's going, she's visiting a grave and it's Ida. And while all the other girls are visiting their moms, Ida is at a grave site. And for a second it made me think, and then all of a sudden I put it together and I'm like, is her mom dead? And so I'm gonna Google it and find out for sure. But I'm pretty sure that her mom was not, I don't know, it was just sad. But then there was another scene where she was talking to a woman, but the woman was all in white and she was like looking the other way. Which I thought that was interesting is all the moms in the video were not looking at the camera and you couldn't see their faces. So I don't know if the second mother was supposed to be a ghost or if it was really Edith's mom and the, and the time when she was visiting the grave was just maybe another relative and that's why she didn't see her mom right away. I'm not exactly sure, but it was sad. It was a pretty music video, very simple, lovely visuals. I was really confused at first with the, the ugly bug on the tree, the ghost train disappearing, and then the weird filter thing that they used on the video the whole time. It was kind of like oil running down the video, so it kind of like distorted. Jeremy showed me several different versions of the song I and I think my favorite was definitely my favorite. Your favorite? Well, my number one favorite was definitely Niga. Mari, I liked hers. And he yeah. disliked Suji's version. Because Suji really has a really grainy voice. Her range was like a size of a, of a teaspoon. I also showed him the Michijige Sayumi version. What did you think of that one? That was the life. People complain that Sayu can't sing. What do you think about that? After hearing that... Well, she can definitely sing. It'd be stupid of you to say she can't sing. She's clearly... She could sing. She was clearly on pitch but her voice just isn't very strong. So it's like to be like, she can't sing. Well, I bet you can't either. She can sing better than a lot of American artists. <laughs> so the only other thing I'll say about Sayumi is she made some like poor choices like technique wise, like with a really, really, like her last note was fine, but she made a poor choice where she tried to belt something. I never seen this song better. It was the, it was the part that. No, 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 that was okay. It was a. It was a. Yeah, she tried to go. And it was too high for her, so it was a little strange. Kind of. All the other girls, all the other girls, when they did it, went. They went into their head voice. But she decided to go. And so it kind of was like. Almost there. But it was a choice. But I mean, her last note was really sweet and cute, and she looked like a pretty little doll. What do you think of the Kohado version? <laughs> I'm graduating. <laughs> Wait, no, it's my graduation. Let me sing. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious that she's singing. She's like getting into it, and then all of a sudden, all the girls jump in, and she's just kind of like, Wait. <laughs> it was literally like, God. They all totally jump in and drown her voice out. They didn't even sing softly either. I swear someone was going, like, just belting into the mic to drown her out. It was, it was bad. It was, it was real bad. <laughs> what do you think of the actual Abe version? Because he said himself that he thought Nigaki sang it better than Abe did in I the think, actual song. I think Nigaki sang it way better and than And Nigaki Abe was about the same age that Abe was when they when she did her cover of the song. She it's, was probably about 14. Again, it's Abe's voice just... Abe's very pretty. She's a beautiful face. And she's a nice singer. Just her voice does not have any flexibility. And yet. It, yet and as of the singles I am hearing, it's all too high for her. Sorry, what did you Abe. think of the fact that this is the, I'm pretty sure, the only Morning Musume single where only one singer has every line. There are no extra solos. There are harmonies. There are no solos from any member. 
I can never tell when anyone else is having a solo, so again, it doesn't really make a difference. To okay. Me. For me, that personally, that bothers me a bit because mm -hmm. I'm a person that is really big on equal distribution. Let's talk about the outfits. We haven't talked about the outfits. No one was in pants. <laughs> no one was in pants. Where were the pants? The kimonos are really pretty. Oh, the kimonos. I love... The, my critique for this music video was this was the music video of awkward skirts like the mm. long like to the floor oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. awkward skirts that were really flattering they weren't really just kind of kind of like you know like you wrap when you wrap like a sheet around your waist like when you get out of the shower yeah uh, 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 sorry all the you know what though maybe that's a respect thing because the song is about visiting your mom maybe it's like a respect thing because in the past videos they, <laughs> it's not that they've been in slinky costumes it's just that they're a little more for the culture for the age group this is more of a song that's devoted to we're gonna go home and visit mom now what do i put on my booty shorts from my <laughs> natural cousin or should i put on my grandma skirt that grandma sent me for uh, christmas yeah, last year we'll do the grandma skirt so maybe it, it could be just like a respect. Do you think one of the girls was like, we still have the blue dresses from Summer Night Town? What kind of costume should I use for this video? We have the dresses from Summer Night Town. Don't you remember how well it worked the last time? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think that is gonna work out very well. I, I just, I don't think it's that good of an idea. You know, I mean, these dresses worked out well the first time. Because even the moms were dressed in ugly skirts like that. But the moms also weren't shown. What did you think about that, like, as far as symbolically for the video? I, well, because I didn't know that it was supposed to be their moms until after the fact, I was just really confused as to why the girls were suddenly talking to strangers. Who had their backs turned to them. Who had their backs turned to them. I was literally making up a whole scenario in my head. So, this is my story. Abe, um, is dead, the whole music video. And that's why she's all in white. And that's why in the beginning she's like walking and then she disappears and then she appears again. A train appears and disappears. She died in a, in, a, in a train crash. And all the rest of the girls are going around trying to find out how she died. Do you know where Abe went? Do you know where Abe went? Where's Abe? And they're trying to find out how Abe died. And that's why she was the, the one girl was at the grave. It was Abe's grave because Abe was dead the whole video. <laughs> but if she died in a train crash, why would they need to investigate why she, how she died? Maybe there was a secret. I don't know. <laughs> a secret train crash? No, no, like a secret like that Abe took to the grave or like... And so they needed to find out what that secret... Maybe, maybe she didn't die in a... Maybe she disappeared off a train. Maybe that's what it was symbolic. Oh. If she disappeared off a train, oh. but she's dead. This is the secret that. music video of and one trying to find that her. nobody really knows. That's what I thought the music video was about because he didn't tell me what the song was about. I apologize. So in my head, this will forever be the music video where Abe died and everybody was interviewing strangers trying to find Okay, so question of the day for all of you. For all of the covers that have been made for Fudasata, which is the one that you prefer the most out of all of them? And they could, they don't have to be the ones that we covered. I personally really like the Nakazawa Yuka version because it's acoustic. I couldn't find it on YouTube, which made me sad. But I have it on my iPod, which is the most important thing. But I couldn't find it on YouTube, so I can't link it in the bottom. But I'll include a few of the different versions down below. So if you want to check out some of those, but tell us, which is your favorite version of Fudasata? Thank you for watching. And that's the end of this video. I don't know what Jacob was doing. Peace out. Hey! It's a thicker mouth. Hey! Welcome to... Oh, I fracked up that intro. I also showed him the Michi... The... 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 The...